Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today this aircraft came in with the steering warning light blinking. And here you have the indication in the cockpit and also the complaint that the pilots rode up. Let us uh, investigate what the troubleshooting manual says. The situation that this problem occurred is a bit weird because they got it during taxiing in. And uh, here the message says that it uh, happened before flight. Crew reported that they didn't have any towing uh, incident with an oversteer, so that's why it's weird. I know that the previous day uh, when this aircraft was at our station they had an oversteer and that was resolved so I'm not sure why this fault was still latched in the system and why it uh, didn't occur in uh, Paris. This warning normally occurs when you have an uh, oversteer during uh, towing operations. Uh, but uh, let's um, get rid of the warning and test the system. So here we are going to clear the uh, memory of the fault. Uh, it, this one is latched in the uh, steering system number two. And here I'm trying to find the correct message to clear. This page uh, has the uh, correct uh, message. And here we continue and erase the message. To be sure, I'm also uh, gonna erase the message in system number one. Although uh, it doesn't say there is a latch warning in that system. Here you see that the message, uh, the dispatch message is not uh, displayed anymore. Normally when you have this after a towing incident, uh, you will have to of course uh, check out the nose gear. On the nose gear there are two specific brackets. Uh, if these are bent or broken, then uh, you have to do a really good inspection of the nose gear because then the uh, steering actuators have been bottomed out and that uh, can cause uh, serious damage. And here we do it in the system number one. So the next step in this uh, maintenance procedure is uh, resetting the uh, brake steering uh, control system, one and two. These are the reset breakers, it gives you more or less a software reset of the computer and it's not a power reset. And after waiting a couple of seconds, uh, we reset the reset breakers and wait until the computer comes back online. And then uh, we will perform a uh, steering system test on uh, both uh, system number one and two. Before starting the test I'm just uh, releasing the chocks uh, from the nose gear, we still have them at the main, and uh, make sure that the steering bypass pin is uh, not installed. The test uh, shouldn't move the uh, nose wheel steering uh, system, but uh, better be safe than sorry.
Here we're checking the conditions and uh, turn on the yellow system. Steering is done only on the yellow uh, hydraulic system. Here we see electrical pump is on, almost 5000 psi. If you don't have an electric pump running, you can motor the engine. This is just another procedure for that one. Today we don't have to do that. Also, I need to check that uh, the parking brake is off. Here, it's off. And we'll start with the brake steering control system number one. It's very nice that out of the manual it's hyperlinked directly to the correct test. So you don't uh, have to look it up. When you start the test the bottom part of the uh, system page of the landing gear brake system will uh, indicate that it is in test. Here we initiate the test. And there you see, wheel steering system testing. Also nice uh, that they indicate how long the test more or less takes. Some tests uh, take a long time and you can take a coffee break uh, while running it. This one is a little bit short to do that. Test OK. And we'll do the same uh, on system number two. Of course, if uh, one of these tests uh, would fail, then uh, we'll need to investigate uh, why it would fail. In this occasion, both tests uh, are testing OK. And then after uh, that is done, we'll, uh, I will sign off uh, the tag lock and uh, we'll uh, release the airplane on that. With this, we're uh, shutting down the hydraulic system, and still the faults are clear. Thank you for watching.